We are going to work on vector mass and pass and shapes. Uh, the end result will be this fabulous little golf poster that we're going to be making. Uh, some of the things that we're going to be working with is shapes and vectors and this stuff. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, remember I talked about graphics, uh, bitmap. There's different kind of bitmap files like JPEG. Um, and remember it's made of pixels, so those are bitmaps. There's also vectors, and vectors aren't really made of uh, pixels. And so the, if you make it really big, it doesn't pixelate. It stays the same. So remember that. Uh, let's start with adding color to your shape. So we have this right here, right? And I'm going to go to... You see these neon green lines? What are those called? Guides. Those are called guides. I don't have that. Okay, guides are very useful. To get a guide, first of all, hit Command R and you'll get a ruler up here. Okay? And then you can click on the ruler and drag in a guide. You can do it horizontally or vertically. Sometimes it's good, especially if you're, when you're designing your CD cover, like to make a middle guide. And then it helps with your text. Like you can type your text on the line here. And then you can easily line things up the way it should be. You can do rule of thirds. Show your guides and to hide your guides, it's uh, command semicolon. And you can hide and get those. Now, uh, we're going to use the rectangle tool. So go ahead and get rectangle. We're going to fill that in with a color. It's going to be a blue color. Uh, the blue color is number 080126. So go here, 080126. That's our color blue for today. We're going to get in our username guides. We're going to place our uh, mouse right there. We're going to click in here. We're going to drag it all the way down to our guide towards the bottom of the page. Now it's all going to be filled in, right? Now what we're going to do next is notice here it looks like a slope. We went from like a f nothing to like a nice grass slope. So let's go ahead and change that. Edit this path. Did you fill it with the marquee? Uh, no, the shape tool. You're going to use a rectangle tool to make your shape. Uh, and make sure up here you have the first option selected so that you can fill in the color when you make your uh, shape square shape. Uh, choose a direct selection tool, A, and then you have to go in and choose the white arrow, direct selection tool. And with that we can come in and click on this corner and basically drag this up and we can manipulate and change the shape. So go ahead and do that. Make sure that the white arrow is selected. We drag it up and we make our little slope. Uh, we are now done with our guides. So let's just get rid of those guides. Command colon and it's gone. Now in our layers we have star guides. And with our star guides it's going to help us uh, make some stars. Basically different uh, shapes and sizes for sh uh, your shape. So we're going to come in here choose polygon instead of rectangle and we're going to choose nine sides okay up here not 22 I'm going to choose nine and also we're going to choose subtract from shape area okay what that's going to do is subtract from the space that when we draw the square so add shape subtract good look, look it's subtracting the area Okay, now we're ready to draw our little stars. Uh, choose the colors that... Oh, make sure you have star, this one. On the top of your toolbar, you have this little weird tingly thing. Make sure it has star and indent size by 70%. Okay? Can't, can't select 
just skip that part and I'll come back to it. Um, so basically if you click on the middle, drag out your stars, you can make your stars. So go ahead, make your stars. We'll make them as big as the guide. Those circles are your guides. Okay. So when we're done with our circ uh, stars, uh, we don't need our star guides anymore. So we're just going to delete our star guides. We don't need it. Um, and so basically what it did was when we hit subtract from area, these stars actually punched out. Like we have our blue canvas. The stars basically punched it out an area of white space. So if we got rid of these stars, you would have a bunch of holes in our canvas. Um, okay, choose path selection tool. Directions say to click on this checkbox. Okay, that means like we're good. Dismiss target path is what we just did. Make sure when you do the you get direct selection tool or path selection tool, and then you can check mark that box right there. It just means like we're done with our paths. Okay, now the hardest part of this whole tutorial, and maybe of your Photoshop life, limited life so far. We are gonna make an eclipse. Has anyone seen an eclipse of the moon? Okay, when we're done with our eclipse, it is gonna look like this. Okay? It's an eclipse. So you need to follow along very carefully and exact do exactly what I say. Otherwise, you are going to be lost and never get it. First of all, choose the Eclipse tool. Okay? Eclipse tool. And by the way, we're going to create a new layer. So we're going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this layer Eclipse. And in our paths, we're going to create a new path. And here we go. Okay? Got your new layer. Got your new path. We're ready to do our Eclipse. So first of all, we're going to make the small circle. And by the way, if you hold on the shift key, it'll make a perfect circle while you're uh, clicking or dragging out your circle. Okay? So make, make that. Yeah, hold on the shift key while you're resizing it. Okay? So you got your big one or small one. Okay? Then make your big one and use a space bar to move it around. So we're going to make an eclipse. There we go. So you notice we have two circles. Next, we're going to hit the A key on the keyboard to get to the direct selection tool. Sorry, the path selection tool because we're working with paths. And we're going to select the middle circle, hold down the shift key, and select the outside circle. So now both circles are selected. Next, we're going to go up here and we're going to choose this option. It's called exclude overlapping shape areas. So basically, what we're doing is we're using the middle. Uh, we made one big circle and we have a little circle on top and we're basically like a cookie cutter. We're going to like cut out part of that. But to cut it out, we have to choose that option. And we're going to hit combine. So it looks like you didn't do anything, but in theory or in reality you did. But what we need to do is color it. Notice this. It shows that we made our little shape in our layer or paths. So now we just need to color it. I'm going to go and switch my colors here because it's going to be more of a white color. And you're going to drag down path one into the color right here, the first circle. And voila, we got ourselves an eclipse. Yeah.